I value authenticity more than I value anything else in this world. I think being authentic means that you're the truest version of yourself and that means that I can trust you and I want to trust people. And that's probably why I've always struggled, you know, as a kid and young adult and now to find women that I can look up to as leaders. Someone that was like me, you know, imperfect. Someone that could be goofy and still be confident. When I eventually was in college and you know, meeting top level CEO women who were making millions and they had the best jobs and had these amazing stories on paper, I would meet them face to face and I just felt like they were just so similar and I wondered if being a woman and being successful meant that you had to put barriers up to your own personality and that's just something I don't want to accept and I'm not going to. I want to be so successful that a generation of young girls just like me finally have someone to look up to. And yeah, you, you see authentic women in comedy and acting and music, but those aren't the women who are making the Fortune 500. Those aren't the women who are speaking at tech conferences. Those aren't the women on Forbes top 100 leaders. You know, growing up, I was raised by a single mother. We lived in this one and a half bedroom house. Uh, my sisters and I shared a bunk bed. My mom slept in this makeshift living room. And I remember just being so embarrassed of where I lived, so embarrassed of getting free lunch at school, so embarrassed that my mom never came to events because she had to work. So I thought, you know, at seven, eight years old, if I could start making money then, I could create an opportunity for us to get out of the situation we were in. That's really what sparked my whole entrepreneurship business mind. I started writing business plans at eight, asking my mom how to spell half the words because I couldn't write it. I wrote so many companies that I had a stack full of letters from CEOs and leaders, all with the same message. Hey, thanks for contacting us. We love your ideas, but you're too young to, for us to hire you. From blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I don't want a photo from you guys anymore. You know, I don't care if I'm 10 years old. I just want a job. And they never took me serious. It just, But so many of them actually took the ideas I had and some of them a year, two years later would implement those ideas. So I knew that I was on point. So I just thought, well, I guess I might as well just do my own thing. Let's go.